everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I'm gonna be making two DIYs um, using Dollar Tree items and how I decorate my small cheer tray for Easter slash Spring. They're going to be in a farmhouse tile, but I'm gonna be using very neutral colors And that's what I'm gonna be doing today and guys I want to say thank you so much for all the love the support and all the prayers That I receive um, on my Instagram on Facebook and on my YouTube channel because as many of you know um, My daughter was in surgery on Tuesday and right now she's doing great She is with my husband and in both we are taking care of her she's doing great and thank you so much for all the prayers and all the support and the love we appreciate that so so much and i just want to say thank you and guys if you like this video uh, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every single time that i upload a new video guys let's get started to this all three diy okay guys so for the first project i'm gonna be using aluminum foil and you probably had this at home but just in case um, you can find this almost anywhere or you can get it at dollar tree and then what i'm gonna be doing is try to fold the aluminum foil and try to form a carrot i'm gonna be trying to make a big carrot and that looks as real as possible until it has the size and the shape that i want I'm gonna be doing a total of three carrots and once I have them I'm gonna be using this youth cord this one is from Walmart and I like it because it's a little bit thicker than the one that Dollar Tree has and I will start at the thinnest part of the carrot to roll it until it is completely covered and using hot glue when you think it's necessary to attach the youth cord to the aluminum foil Then on the other side of the carrot, I'm gonna be leaving a space to put the foliage inside it. And you must do the same with the rest of the carrots. Now I'm going to be using just one of these Dollar Tree foliage and this one is more than enough for all the projects that I'm gonna be doing in today's video and I got some pieces of these and I'm going to stick it inside of that small space that you leave in the carrot and I'm gonna be using hot glue and then you need to stick the rest of the youth gourd that you have um, to your carrot to make sure that the foliage is not going to fall down and you need to make this to all the carrots. As you can see, the youth cord or the rope mostly always have these hairs and I don't love it. So, so I'm gonna be using fire to burn them and this will give it a little bit more of color texture and also I think it looks much better and I just be careful not to burn the foliage or your fingers Once you're finished with all the carrots, you must put them all together because I'm gonna be tying them together with a knot um, using this ribbon that I get from Walmart and have the buffalo shake pattern. Then I'm going to use one of these wooden nickel from Hobby Lobby to make a tag. 
First, I'm going to highlight the edges with a black marker and then I'm going to make a hole with my drill. Now you can use your Cricut if you have it or you can um, write it by hand or you can use stickers and I'm going to use this from Dollar Tree and the only part that I'm going to be using is this one that says look 137 and I'm going to cut the number 37 and I'm going to stick it into my wooden nickel and then I'm going to cut the letter E and the number 1 to form the cents symbol. Then just put the youth cord or you can make a bow and then stick it into your carrots. And my last, this will be the result of my first DIY. Too easy to make and super, oh my god, super budget friendly. I think I only spent like one dollar on the foliage because the rest of the materials I already had at home and I have used them in a lot of projects before. And I just love how it looks, very neutral and farmhouse depending, um, I think, on the ribbon that you put on it. For this second project, you can use any type or size of Easter egg that you have. You can get one from Dollar Tree, but I'm going to be using this one that is from Dollar General. Um, it is just one dollar, but I like it because have this like base and you can stand your egg. And also I'm going to be using Raffia from Dollar Tree and I think one package is enough for this egg size. So what you need to do is try to divide the raffia into sections and then make a knot at one end of the raffia and start making a braid. And guys, I promise that this project is going to look awesome, but this can take you a little bit of time, you know, like make all the braids in the raffia is going to take you a little bit of time, but I promise you that it's going to look amazing and it is super easy to do. Once you have all the raffia braids, it is time to start hitting them with the hot glue um, to your egg. And after I hit the first um, braid that I made, I noticed that you can actually see the yellow color of the egg throwing out. And I don't want that. So what you can do is paint your egg a color that looks very similar to the raffia. And that's what I did and then let it dry and then you can continue sticking all the raffia throughout the egg until it is completely covered. To add a nice touch to the egg, I'm going to stick these leaves that I get from Walmart on the top of the egg and also I'm going to stick a bow with this ribbon um, that is from Walmart and have the buffalo shake pattern. And guys, this will be the result of our raffia egg. I'm so happy how it looks. And I just hope that this project inspires you to make so many things with the raffia and just be creative. I love how this project turned out and extremely budget friendly.
for our last project i will be showing you how i'm going to decorate a small tray on a budget and this one is from the target dollar spot and the first thing i'm going to place inside of this tray is this wooden birdhouse this one is from walmart for only 99 cents and i'm gonna be painting my house in white color but for the top of the house i'm gonna be using antique color from my Revely wax and this is how it's going to look and i'm gonna put it on the bottom of the tray and then i really like how i made the carrots before so i'm gonna be using the same technique but i'm gonna be making them a little bit smaller just use aluminum foil make the carrot cover the whole carrots with youth cord then burn the hairs um, to give it more color and more texture and then add the foliage on each of the carrots and finally put a ribbon and I really love the ribbon that I use because it is super neutral and guys you can get it at Hobby Lobby And I'm going to add these carrots to the bottom of the tray. And I'm going to add this rattan ball as well. At the top, I'm going to hang this jar that I get from a thrift store. I painted in white color and then I just put greenery inside. Then I'm going to add this moss stone from Dollar Tree. And finally, this beautiful bunny that I get from Dollar General for only $2.50. And guys, this will be the result of our last project. I love how I decorate this small tray for Easter slash spring. I love how it turned out. And I really like the colors. I think it looks super neutral. And I really love how this birdhouse gives a really nice touch. And remember that you can get it at Walmart for only 99 cents. Remember to visit my webpage, diybajas.com, and in the description box of this video, I'm going to be leaving you the link as well as my social media pages, Instagram and Facebook. And guys, I really hope that you liked today's video. Remember to let me know in the comments which was your favorite project and give me a big thumbs up. And please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you share this video with friends and family. Love you so much and I will see you on my next DIY. Bye guys.